Hey there folks, RenyMT here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Word. In the last part, we finished off the Warring Triad after doing some little hard. And now, it's time for War Shadows Reign. Arya, can't you just sent me out to find you? You have a proper knack for showing up at just the right time, you know that? Anyway, Ketchy cracked open that tome, what we got from Bradley, and has been studying all the No Stone secrets. He thinks he may be on to something important, not just concerning Diabolus and the Shadow Queen, but also the cat himself. Come on back to the parrot, and we can all hear what he has to say together. As I suspected, this tome was penned by a monkey sorcerer of superior standing, as well as detailing the methods by which the po full power of the Nosum might be unleashed. These pages also contain a number of revelations concerning my master, High Void Mage Cesare. If these histories are to be trusted, it seems that Cesare himself was responsible for summoning Diablos. But I thought you said your master was opposed to supporting the war effort. Why would she be the one to call up that bat-winged monster? Cesare only agreed to the ritual as a means to bring the conflict to an early resolution. From what I can glean from these excuse me, passages, Diabolus was intended as a bluff, a threat that was never to be exercised. But those arrogant imbeciles ignore my master's carefully laid restrictions and elected to unleash the fiend upon Amdapur. It was when Cesare moved to protect, protest this act that she was branded a traitor and imprisoned. Once they had contained the opposition, the void mages studied all manner of otherworldly arts at the town and the feet of their new pet. The most dangerous of which was the right of summoning Scathic and the method for chaining her power. Yet even after all they had perpetrated, these ambitious fools had the gall to come crawling to Cesare when the coming of the Great Floods was predicted. They begged her to take control of the Void Ark for the salvation of the Maki people. As you saw for yourself, however, the energies of the Shadow Queen broke loose and turned the vessel into a derelict nest of void sand. It seems obvious now that the arts taught by the Diablos were deliberately flawed. The only saving grace in all this madness was when that damnable fiend was sealed away by the white mages of Amdapur. I shudder to think what would have happened had he been reunited with his queen. So now, 1500 years later, Diablos is looking to finish what he started. I thought the bat-faced bastard was just some opportunistic underling, but it turns out he's the main villain behind the whole mess. Were Cicero alive today, she would accept responsibility for unleashing Diablos upon the world. As the high boy and mage is familiar, it is my duty to act in her stead. I have deciphered the secrets of the Nullstone, and with its undiluted power shall I erase Diablos from existence. I like your spirits, puss, but try not to rush in too quickly, eh? Getting yourself killed wouldn't do us or your master any good. Wait, wait, wait. No one's rushing in anywhere just yet. Or have you forgotten that we st we're still in the middle of scouting out the fiend's lair? We've got the compass to go by eye, but who knows what kind of place to lead us to or how many demons will be lying and wait when we get there. We fly in with our eyes. We lie with our eyes open or risk getting slaughtered just like the Talons. Oh yes, speaking of which, the tome made mention of a potential location for...
card. Ouch, behind. He's behind you. Yeah, curse you, fiend! At last, at long last. <laughs> this is far from over, team. I'm not allowing an abomination like the Shadow Queen to rule this world. And now no it's not a ruling. It is might which decideth the minion. But believe what thou mayest, frail, frail creature, you are playthings. Your screams of denial shall amuse me as I send this rock and all upon it to shatter upon the ground below. Is that Rathia? Where's she been hiding that ship? I would not tire my arm with the swatting of so many flies. The no stone is mine. There is yet much to be done. Scene. Well, well, ain't I a lucky sod? Two demons in one day. Found some new dogs to lick your boots, Aralia. Is that any way of welcoming me back to the life? <laughs> you needed allies in persuading our reluctant fellows to join in common causes of feat only a woman of my charming beauty could accomplish. Besides, you look too injured to be of much use to anyone. You best take to your bed, old man, and let me and your champion there take care of the void, son. What? So you can tuck tail and run again at the first sign of trouble? You'd not even be standing there if it weren't for me. Even if we, even with me arm busted up, I'm still twice the pirate you are. Nay, I think you should stay behind this time, Leofard. We must pursue Diablos without you. Time is of the essence, and we cannot afford to wait for your help for you to heal. We must take advantage of Captain Radley's reinforcements and proceed with all haste. Did the demon drop you on your head for a ball without me? Without me there to run things, you'll just end up getting in Arya's way. And no one's making haste anywhere until we know what we're flying into. Again, Captain Radley may hold the answers to that dilemma. I suspect that the island where she uncovered the Maki's home is the very location where Diablos has chosen to lair. This floating marble I speak of is not a natural occurrence. It was constructed as a haven for refugees of the floods. The tone makes very clear reference to the island's purpose. It describes in detail the void sent sorcery employed in its creation. As the void arc never arrived at its destination, however, the island remained uninhabited. Can imagine no more suitable highway for our scheming fiend. Even better, Diablos will not expect us to suddenly arrive on this secluded doorstep. 
and tell Fleetwood carve as a path through the lesser fiends, and we shall strike swiftly into the heart of the confusion to seize the Nullstone. Once the relic is secured, I will use its power to obliterate our devilish foe. As a sky pirate, surely you can understand how such an assault relies on speed and surprise. We cannot have a wounded companion slow us down and potentially doom the entire enterprise. So you think you're in charge now, do you, puss? Poor, broken Leofar is just some dead weight you need to cut away. You know what? I've had a belly full of your mule in any case. Go on, fly off without me and see how far you get without you with your thrice damned enterprise. Captain Radley, compare the direction indicated by the echo compass with your navigational records, if you please. I think we'll find the coordinates coincide with the island in question. Certainly, and feel free to board our flagship when you're set to depart. My darling's large enough to accommodate your adventure and our fellows with room to spare. Dunscape is now accessible. Okay, at least they uh, use the same entrance here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Not qualified. There we go. Dunscape. OMG, that did not take 40 minutes. Unfortunately, this raid has a little bit of a reputation, a little bit more than Wiping City. So people may leave. I see what it is. Like, it's not even that bad if you, you know, pay attention, but I'm asking people to pay attention, so. Never mind! False alarm! Well, at least it was 45 minutes, it's only 25. Who's to say if people will leave or not? In the meantime, I got the net hog mount. One does not come uninvited to the Shadow Queen's castle. So, hardcore FF6 reference here. This is Death Gaze Hollow. It's Death Gaze! Yeah, so, uh, no positionals here. So, void death. I'm gonna go ahead and pop arms length to not get drawn in again. Uh, you do not want to be in the black circle when it finishes. Otherwise, that happens. <laughs> Alright, so these green circles are going to drop tornadoes wherever you are standing when the attack finishes. So you ideally you want to bring them away. Let's go ahead and avoid that ice attack. Um, Alright, void arrow three. You want to be 
kind of centered like this. You do not want to be in it. If you're in it, you will die. <laughs> this is going to be a, a big trend in this particular fight is you will die if you mess this up. Alright, Doomsday! This is going to put Doom on random party members in every party. Ideally, the help healers will as soon as this ASAP. Otherwise, you guessed it. You'll die. Um... We don't have arm's length for this one, so I actually gotta try, so let's just keep running. Okay. Before, of course, if you're out far enough, you do not get pulled all the way in. Reaping Winds, heed my command. So this is gonna put, basically, our timer! <laughs> yeah! On top of everything of this being... Oh, by the way, if you mess this up, you'll die. There's a timer on it. There's a heart and rage. Uh, so you need your back to one of these icicles, otherwise... Yes! You'll die. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that in this fight? <sighs> I think we've got all the uh, you'll die parts down, though. Most of them, anyway. Hopefully these people don't drop these in terrible spots. Yeah, that's so if you're standing in that, you get, I think, knocked around and also wind burn, I want to say. Uh, Void Arrow 3, he's going to jump over there. Oh, and you have to be on the right side here. Do not be in the middle, otherwise you die. Um, if you are on the side he's on and you get hit by Ball of Darkness, you get a bleed effect. If you're on one of those when it's shimmering, and if the shimmering finishes, you'll die. <laughs> I hear another doomsday going off. I got doom! Ah, I'm gonna die! Yeah, it's like a super generous timer overall, but... Uh, yeah. Another void arrow. And we've got some void sprites, so let's go ahead and fight these, maybe. Are no tanks gonna take them? It would be greatly appreciated if I wasn't taking on Monk. I think I'm in the range of death guys here. Oh, it also helps if you know all the tanks were alive. Except they died. Yeah, so another we now have three of those. Go ahead, hop arm's length again, so we don't get drawn in. Yeah, so this is a fight I definitely want to make sure I'm saving shoulder tackle on. Alright, another doomsday. I believe he's gonna do another jump here soon. Or another void era. You can, you, you can stay on those, but once they start shimmering is when you want to go off. You'll notice people are trying to stay off of them. But yeah, it's you can be on them. You just don't want to be on them when... Oh, God. Of all the terrible spots to put that. That was a really awful spot for that particular tornado. There is a healer in my party that has a three-line raise macro. A little bit extreme, I'd say. Alright, another void arrow. And I have to hope to be on the right side here. Yeah, I'm got to eat it. Uh, this is like the closest I have seen Death Gaze go in quite some time. <laughs> um yeah, this is not good that we're down to this few. We have, what, three spots left? Yeah, this is really bad, actually. Now there's not even a tank tanking this thing. Ah, and I'm tanking it. <laughs> Hello! Monk tank! Tank? Someone? Ow! Cool, I got this! I got this! Ow, I don't got this! Alright. Boy, death. I had to, like, ask the tank to provoke, please, because it's like, uh, hello, you are alive. I'm tanking.
Uh, wait. So I'm using shoulder attack for DPS, even though I shouldn't be. There's probably gonna be another thing going off soon. Break it. Oh my gosh, this is the messiest death game I've seen in a while. This is gonna be a wild ride! Forgive me, my queen! This wretched wraith has failed you. Oh my gosh. Oh. That, that was a ride and a half. These buildings were meant to house the refugees of Mach, a promised land forgotten by time. What's this? Visitors are fair about it. Pray allow me to be the first to welcome you! So, yeah, this is just kind of running through, getting a little bit of lore. The void to have claimed this place, just as I suspected, it has become a nest of shadows and despair. I guess I could do that. Alright, so we've got these void crystals. It's kind of teaching us about the upcoming fight, actually. Sort of. So, we want to take these out before they finish summoning! Don't worry, I'm sure we won't. No, nope, no, nope, we will. We'll take out these ones. We probably won't do the next sound, though. See how that? That part's easy. No problem. Except, you'll notice we now have four of them along with two unblinking eyes. The eyes are going to have a gaze attack that we want to not be looking at. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one. So yeah, the unblinking eyes like this, gaze attack. I shouldn't be looking. Yep. Because we all like focus on one side. So yeah, I people used to be able to look at those no, just no problem. But like lately I've been seeing more and more groups just fail against the actual kill. So if you Steel fail and they summon these Panthenoaks and also a Dunscape Dragon appears. And there is not a tank on this unblinking eye! So, alright. Like I said, this is gonna be a ride. So yeah, um, Death Gaze is probably the hardest fight in this entire run. Follow closely behind the last two fights. The stuff in the middle isn't too bad, but Death Gaze is basically like an initiation right to get past it. It's an initiation right to also wipe to uh, <laughs> the uh, Heart and Rage. So, Ferdiad Hollow. You may remember Ferdiad from a long, long time ago in the End of Poor Keep. Yeah. Some mechanics are going to be back from that. Don't worry, people have forgotten. Alright, oh how I love entertaining unexpected guests! Do I do I say some unfamiliar faces in the crowd? So, markers! Markers you want to pull out into the distance. Once they appear, run out. Do not keep them in the crowd! <laughs> Otherwise, you will murder people! Uh, this part, he is gonna suck in a colored orb into Um as particular, or an orb into a particular color. You want to stay away from that particular color that it's been sucked into. Oh, I guess I could do that. For what help it really does. Uh, Jungular's X, I believe, is Tank Buster. Yeah, Jungler's X is Tank Buster. Alright, so now he's going to do this again. Except he loves this, this weird yellowy, circle-y thing. I'm gonna try and stick my hand as long as possible. And then we want to go under the yellow one, because that's where it got sucked into, for a donut AoE! 
All right, debilitator. This is the part everyone's gonna screw up. We get fire resistance down, so dance with me, prince with me. Choose your stage, fire demise or a watery grave. So we actually want to change it to the opposite color. Which, of course, people are gonna be like, oh, we gotta make it red. And then you get these people who are like, oh, we, got, we, we, we gotta keep it on the wrong color. It's like, no, put it on the right color. Come closer, come closer. I promise we'll give you a show to die for. All right, so this is our ad phase. We need to kill these pretty ad schools. One of these is going to do a look away attack. I don't know which one it is, but we need to work on them. Yeah, it's not this one, it's back there. We wanna make sure we are looking away from that. We don't petrified. And they're also getting these lucky pyros. The lucky pyros are going to make them dash across to wherever they end up at, and if they dash into a, a thing, they will dash back out. We got, what, like, two pools left? One pool? Yeah. Luckily, this isn't, like, a hard... You will fail this if you take too long. Pay attention! Are oh, you gonna miss the big reveal? Yeah, he's gonna do his big race wide attack here. And where's the laughter? The thunderous applause. There's simply no pleasing you. So now that we're past that, we're gonna have a few more mechanics to get deal with. So now he's gonna put these into two different colors. He's gonna start doing two. So we need to actually be between the two different ones, because he went into both yellow and blue. So there was a couple safe spots there, I just happened to be on the one that was opposite the eyes, of course. Actually, no, did it? Was it? I think these people were in range. Yeah, so watch these people. They're gonna have this marker, and they're not gonna run out far enough. They're gonna run right into people. Because, yeah. Alright, this, black fire. Black fire is an expanding attack. We do not want to be in there because, um, there's barely a safe spot. There was a safe spot. I'm not saying there wasn't, but there was barely a safe spot. I guess I could have been meditating that time. But right now. Alright, another tank buster. So see what I mean? Like, just in general, this fight is just easier than death gaze. Alright, so now we have water resistance down, so now everything wants to be fire. However, there's also a stack attack going off on me, conveniently enough. Alright. Yeah, so we still took a bunch of damage because people couldn't decide which way they wanted to actually do it. If they wanted to do the mechanic properly, or if they didn't. Know. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and not run up right here. And go ahead and grab our copper. Okay. And so we're off to actually an addition in 3.56. I actually don't know what was here before. I don't think I ever did before, but what's here now is here. But uh yeah. The fight we're about to do was not originally here when they first released Dunscape. I think it was just a regular trash fight, but now it's Proto Ultima! Alright! Ultima systems online, performing systems check, systems check complete, initiating Armageddon sequence. Alright! So this is going to be essentially Ultima for the first little while. It's been a little while, as in it's been a long while since we bought Ultima. If we don't get the cool intro because we kind of just go boom into the fight. Alright, Aether Chemical Flare. I believe he is about to go away here. Yep, alright, so we're going to go into the middle first off. Because there's going to be a staff marker here. I want to say if you don't stack enough, then it's really bad for his white damage. After the stack marker, you want to run to the edges. You're going to see it, this yellow thing up here here. Once it goes away, run back out. Wait for that to finish. Watch the next two proximity parts. Yellow thing will reappear. Run back out. 
finish, except then you need to move because he's about to dash across where the safe spot was. And now two Azure are going to appear, two Alakan Dreadlaunts. And he's also going to start preparing Supernova. Also, if I do my combo correctly, apparently. Alright, Supernova's going to do raid wide damage. And if we don't push him to his next phase, these Protobits are going to appear, and he's also going to start doing chasing attacks. Now he's going to jump again, except this time he's going to be invincible, and these Aether Collectors are going to appear. We want to kill these Aether Collectors ASAP! Well, before he starts charging the second Supernova, specifically. 50 seconds of Supernova is a, it's a really generous time. And of course, melee is a do once a limit break here, so let's go ahead and do just that. Well, it is a race against time, and melee limit break is really good for those. And we are about to hit the cutscene. Bets on someone pulling the boss before everyone's out of the cutscene, because I'm pretty sure, judging by how this has been going, we have a lot of newbies. So, yeah. By the twitching of my whiskers, there's mad fell magic ahead. Only the queen herself could radiate such mal malice of this magnitude. I might die of shock here. So this fight, oh, this fight is the cause of many wipes. I still say Death Gaze is harder, but it's really easy to screw this fight up. Because people can just not pay attention to the mechanics. Oh my god, I am going to die of shock. Welcome, mortals, to my Citadel of Shadows. Have you come to deepen the gloom with an offering of souls? Alright, so the first little bit here is going to be pretty basic. Uh, she's gonna jump up like so. Oh, I'm gonna take that because I forgot to go out. I'm too close to her, actually. I want to be pretty far out. Creeping shade and silhouette, gather unto me. So she's gonna pull up these two giant arm-like things. You're gonna want to pay attention to the ways they are facing. So she's gonna do shade spin and it's gonna do AOEs or attacks, tunnels in those directions. And I am like doing terrible here. 30 sickles. All right, so she's gonna jump like this. You do not want to rush it. Rushing in is pretty much the worst mistake you could do right there. Because, well, she's about to do another AoE. Basically, that initial jump and do an AoE there. Alright, we do not want to move. Do not move. Stop. Get away from the con movement controls. You can see everyone's moving here, so now, like, everyone's super slow. This is gonna, she's going to do an AoE after this, and it's going to come with a proximity right after. To me, protege, smother these intruders with the arts that I have taught thee. So the boss, Scathic, needs to be pulled away from this ad. Another tank needs to take this one. Like, this cannot happen. No, 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 don't fall together. Okay, yeah, we need a tank on the ad. We need, and they need to be separate. They cannot be together. And I see our tank is dead. Lovely. Oh. Okay, I was like, wait, is that a four line? No, they just hit it twice. All right, so that was a drop and a bunch of line attacks, and she's gonna do the arm attack again, shade spin. So let's make sure we are behind her. I probably should have just done. Not messing up my combo, and you still refuse to demon it. it. Must have tried a different attack. So this is going to cause a chasing, giant chasing AOE. Whoever this is has it needs to drag it far away from the group, not through the group, away from the group. Because it causes vulnerability stacks and it's really painful. <laughs> anyway, so she's gonna go into a little cocoon and start preparing her limit break! Her big attack. So, while she's doing that, we need to take care of Az so we can get to her. Your fate was sealed the moment you set foot in my domain. Also, meteors are gonna appear. Meteors need to be taken care of. I'm like, ah, oh, that was back there. So this Chimera is going to be like Chimeras we have faced before. Except, of course, it's been quite a while since we faced a Chimera. Yeah! 
so long that no one decided to silence it. Really? Four, four line thing. Perfect. Anyways, we're back on stage now. Uh, you do not want to be where the uh, hand slaps have landed. You will take more damage if you are. And now she is going to get even nastier! Yeah, because this hasn't been fun enough already, right? So 30 souls, general AoE. with towers, and also this line attack thing. Yeah. Yeah, she's really gonna start combining attacks here. Throw out 30 souls, generic AoE, or raid wide specifically. Another 30 souls? I guess I have to pop this mantra. I'm still really bad about it. Alright, 30 arrows. We're about to have the meteors combined with the lines. Meteors are appearing now. Okay, I'll get it. I'm just a melee. Alright. Another proximity. I'm not going to move break you yet. Normally, in high damage situations, we actually don't make it to the second proximity, the second add here, but I guess we did. Alright, take care of this, and bad things are happening over there. I see she's doing a big jump, and people are dying. Perfect. Another 30 souls. Go ahead and limit break here. At least we're not in C, which is almost dead. Such pervasive light. It does steal into the darkest corner. Something, something, something. Guys, he decided here and now. So, Diablos! We are facing Diablos again. Hope you remember it. It's not the creature I was before. People buying confinement. Ha! <laughs> Face me now with the influence of my power. And apparently, yes, the four line race macro is necessary according to the healer, which I asked. And like, yeah, yeah, it's totally necessary. I'm like, really? Really spamming. All right, Nightmare, look away! And also, stunnable. He's also stunnable! I forgot about that part, except that's not really the attack you want stun. This is the attack you want stun. It's ultimate terror. you not, like, Nightmares, whatever. Ultimate terror, stun that nonsense. So when he enters something that's not going to be stunnable... Ah, I targeted the wrong one. So, yeah, when he enters something that's not stunnable, he'll put up a stun protection, but... Look away! See how many people get put to sleep? A bunch of people. At least it's a tsunable. Alright, so yeah, so he put, just put up some protection, which means he's about to prepare a ruinous omen! We need to be on him for a little while. He does this, since of course we cannot stun. Ow. So the throws open the gate into the void. The nice hound slaver at the center of your fear. Not even the eternal sleep shall you be free from the terror of my leaving. So now he's gonna do a stack, which they're not even gonna bring it up to the melees? Cool. Ultimate terror. Let's go ahead and stun that. So yeah, ultimate terror is the really annoying donut attack. Oh good. That he had originally. Now he's gonna stun protection himself. This Tars of Battle has drawn on overlong enough. So he's gonna fly away. We want to come down to the south here and prepare for a giant gate. 
right where you saw that little goop on the ground. So yeah, life gate! I probably should have done that, but oh well. So initially, we just have a basic HP bar to deal with here. Um, what I like to do is once the initial HP bar is done, bow before the shrinking majesty of the void. What have you done? You seek to rest the control, um, uh, rest from me control of the portal? Yeah, so basically we need to beat it up before he overly charges this. Otherwise, bad things happen. So be it. Contest of strength in. A contest you have no hopes of winning. Um, other gates are gonna appear here, which apparently no one's gonna decide to go for. Uh, these actually don't have positionals. I'm just being silly and doing positionals. I don't actually have to do them. <laughs> Um, hopefully you hope to see plus four here. That's an, just an HP boost that it gets. That means you have good DPS, except I don't think we have good DPS here. Yeah, so if we don't have good DPS, it's just gonna go away here. If we do, it's gonna revive, yeah. You can get to plus four. Impossible! I have lower the boy! You cannot Arg! Let's go ahead, charge up. Meditate. God, I can't wait till it's automatic. I obviously still charge when you're in down the long time, but my imprisonment. We could be more than I am imagined. But you have not bested me yet. Witness now my true power for seeking the queen's rebirth. So she's or she he's gonna pull the queen over to him and they're gonna merge. They're gonna melt into one. And if he's gonna have a lovely invincibility. However, I do believe it does have a slight bearing on how much damage your overall group is doing. It is generally time, but yeah, he did stuff like So Shade Thrust, we actually didn't see this with Skathic. Uh, this is a conal attack that him and Skathic both do. Holy Conversado is his um, tank buster. But yeah, it's a conal. We actually didn't see uh, Skathic do, which is... Honestly surprising, considering how badly that went. It's usually what kicks people's butt. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Invincibility has draws. It's basically their way to give him more HP at this point. Just an annoying wall. Alright, so Diablo Solo is going to pull Skafix's chasing attack. He's also going to pull this stack, which... Bye! I'm not chasing you. Why do people do that? Alright, so I want to actually be in the Diabolic Gates here in the middle because this is going to pull us into a Void Realm. The Void Realm is going to have a Shadow of the Hawk in it. Hopefully we can get a tank in here. We can tank this the Hawk. So yeah, so uh, at least one sort of group has come in here and deal with this thing. Um... Ideally, it would be a full party, but, uh, yeah. When you come out, you are going to be invincible, because the office is probably going to be doing something as we come out here, like this lovely look-away attack. So this is a look-away stat. You want to not be looking at the primary target of the stat. That's how those work. Alright, Hollow Nightmare. This one is not sentable. And again, it is a look-away, and it's going to doom people if you're not looking away. Thanks for uh, reminding me of that, people who didn't look away. I appreciate it. Oh. And there goes whoever was tanking. So the more chasers and not is also going to be these orbs coming around the arena. So we want to look away, not be in the path of these or um, orbs, because they're going to do vulnerability stacks. Ideally, you just like kind of avoid them and let them go around the arena. Uh, how Kamasado. That actually really hurts. I've tanked this guy in. Holy heck, he hurts. Alright, so this middle one needs even more people on it. Because it's a really big one. Of course, we want to avoid that there. Nice. We did not have enough people in the middle. Uh, there was a big area attack that I kind of missed because I was a little busy being dead. Let's just avoid these people. Yeah, so it's that that one out. Okay, it's just a knockback. 
Uh, we have no razors alive. Actually, no, we do. We do. We have a summoner. Yeah, so Hollow Omen is gonna be his big attack. He razors need to be raised. Why are they not- why are they casting Physic? His summoner's Physic does like nothing. Shakers, thing, same thing we saw on Sephiroth. So this is going to be a small tank stat. We need the attack on the tank for that. Why aren't they raising our healers? I don't know. Okay, healer limit break. This is why you do not limit break in this fight early. All right, some more Earth Shakers. Okay, let's go ahead, drop the transcendent, and go on in. Oh god, the orbs. Cool! Let's just burst all the orbs. Are we gonna have some more Earth Shakers? We are! Some more orbs, which are probably gonna be popped in your people. Oh my gosh, that was a disaster! Why were people popping the orbs? You just let them go across the arena! What's done is done. What's dumb is done. Because this place is also known as Dumbscape, if I haven't mentioned it yet. I don't know, this is a different day from when I actually started this recording. So. Uh. Yeah, you did not pop the orbs. You stay away from the orbs and just let them go across the arena. It's not that hard. Like, really? Okay, let's go ahead and breathe on that. Void matter, I'm gonna pass. I am gonna need on Wind of Scothic. Uh, 72, I am not winning that. Also, we need on these cards. 90, why was that? 97 on the Wind of Scothic. Uh, gosh. Well, we know it's not our group that's holding up this loot. I didn't even win the card! I had a 97! Oh my gosh, I feel denied. What the heck? <sighs> yeah, I really don't like this, this particular array. Just because of people. This raid isn't bad, it's just people make it bad. I've had really smooth runs of Dunscape. Do not relax your guard yet, Arya. The air is still heavy with this foul presence. Taking care of my friend, have you? And you didn't even need that dusty old relic to do it. Be careful, Captain. Diablos yet lurks in the shadows. I claim the Shadow Queen's power of mine own, yet still I am harried by your noisome weevils. I must needs quit this realm for a time, and when I have grown accustomed to my newfound mad might, there shall be a reckoning for your insolence.
This ain't the time for nothing, Furball. You still got a job to do. My work here is unfinished, and Cesar's name I unmake thee, Diablos. My master's will be done. Should have known we were wasting our breath. The captain only heeds the siren in his heart. Damn the consequences. Heh, <laughs> told you you'd be lost without me, didn't I? And look at you, puss, getting knocked out cold in your moment of glory. You weren't like to get another chance to honor your master's memory, and you almost missed it. But I suppose you pull through at the last. I won't give you that much. Hey, yo, sorry about the railings on your ship. That guy just kind of did away with them. Your concern in your lectures, you all knew I wasn't like to stay in bed with such a grand adventure in the making. I'd rather break every bone in me body than be stripped of the freedom to go where I please. Besides, all's well that ends well, eh? Diablos is dead and we're all alive. That counts as a victory in my books. It's just a pity that it cost me the rain mill to do in the doing of it. I hope she rests easy on the island refuge. A red bill farewell. Me goggles are a mess, but I can always get me a new pair of goggles and a new airship. I suppose we should be glad we didn't lose all else after diving headlong into a void sand nest. Now that we've taken the skies back, it's time we were taking our leave. The Talons and the Red Bills can kiss this brief alliance farewell. And once, of course, you're interested in a more permanent arrangement. Your bootlickers might think your voice is on song, but it grates me ears like a harpy screech. No, this is the first and last time we fly together. We're back to being rivals, the way it's always been. You are a very sober man, Red Bill, but you do well to remember. I always get what I want in the end. Hey. 
head back to me quarters and see the fur balls hurt. See to the fur balls hurts. I'll be along in a bit. Feels so foolish, Arya. I demand that the Leofards stay be remain behind, only have him rescue my mi have him rescue my mission from certain failure, a failure that would have been made mock of your heroic efforts as well. You are too kind. Uh, what words exist that can properly express my contrition? I know not how to even begin making my apologies. I should like to approach the captain, but he has the air of a man who seeks solitude. It is strange to see him so melancholy. Could it be the loss of the rain mill which troubles himself? Nay, I shan't intrude upon his contemplation with clumsy questions and trite platitudes. Let's leave him be for the moment. Stacia, if I might ask you a question, do you know the cause of the captain's melancholy? Is it because of the Ramil? Pray tell me if, if it is so. I cannot help but feel responsible for the vessel's destruction, and I would better understand Leofard's, Leofard's present distress. Hmm, if you really want to understand, I suppose you should start with how the captain was orphaned as a child. As matters turned out, he was taken in by a high-born widow who raised him as her son. From what Leofort has told me, his adopted mother was a kind, quiet-spoken woman, but due to some illness or other, she was rarely able to venture outside. Instead, she spent hours reading to her boy from the library, well-stocked with books from faraway lands. Leofort cared for her as her malady grew worse by the day, and he was there by her side when death finally carried her away to Falls Halls. While she was alive, she never did ask much of him. Not long before she passed on, however, she wrung him from him one single promise. to escape the conformity that she had always endured and live his life as free as a bird. As you've likely guessed, her name was Ramil. That's her portrait there, hanging on the wall. Ah, this explains much. I had wondered as the origin of his vessel's naming. The Sky Pirate Way is the, the Sky Pirate Way is the life Leopard chose for himself. I like to think he named the ship the Ramil so that his mother would be there to watch over him over all of his adventures. Since when were you so loose lipped about your comrade's private past, Asia? I ain't in the habit of leaning on people's sympathy, so you can keep all that tidbit to yourselves, eh? And I thought I told you to see to the furball's wounds. Look at your cape, puss. It's in tatters. Come here a moment. A scarf? For me? Ah, that's a little present we give to every new red bill. Ramil taught me that it's not protecting memories that's important. It's having the strength to follow your path and make those memories in the first place. Seeing how determined you were to clean your master's slate, I'd say you fit right in with our crew. Listen, if you're thinking that little that little airship meant a lot to me, then you'd be right. But I'd rather more a hunk of metal than lose them as sh can share in me highs and lows. So let's get this straight, Puss. There's no need for apologies. A sky pirate makes his choice and he sticks by it. That's the way it lay with the sky pirate, hmm? As I seem to be bereft of both place and purpose now, I suppose I shall accept your offer. I am yours to command, Captain. Glad to hear it. Your first duty is to join us in giving our adventure here a proper send off. Well, it's about bloody time you two saw eye to eye, but honestly, Captain, you don't mean to head out in those rags, do you? Let's get you cleaned up as well before we say our fond farewells. Time we parted ways, Arya. Let's give an escort down to Coldwind.
That was some adventure, Arya, but our journey into the unknown is over. For the now. This guy's spit out some new mystery. You can bet that I'm coming to find you. After all, there ain't nobody else who handles the unexpected quiet like you do. I venture in the heady rush of danger. Surely in this life there is no greater reward. And we also get a red bill scarf. So I do think that is good for this particular video. In the next part, we will continue our quest um, through the rest of this Heaven's Word content. So Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing if you really enjoy it. Consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps you keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching and until next time, this is Renium T signing out. Bye!